Hey there, so I'm gonna be the Sticker Co. and I am here to plan for August 26th through September 1st and you guys are about to be mad at me. It is literally three odd hours after I film my kit lineup and I am aggressively putting off cleaning my kitchen because I decided to make laundry soap and then I decided to make beef jerky and then I decided to cut a pattern for a sweater and then I, my ADHD has uh, run amok today. So in the spirit of trying to get out of the cleaning that I will in fact have to do, I was like, let me go play with stickers. But I already laid down uh, the week that's next week because it is only August 15th. So I was like, mm, I'm doing it anyway, I don't care. So you guys will be seeing this video at the appropriate time. It is just not filmed at the appropriate time. But because I want to play with stickers and extend out how, how I don't know, just I, I want to make this last. I decided instead of using a kit kit, I was going to use a mini kit. And then I was like, oh, you have that same mini kit again. So they're identical. And then I found this percussion sheet that looks nice. The yellow is much brighter, but the yellow is still a vibe. And then I brought in date covers that are printables from I have no idea where. And then we're going to use my leftover sticker book to kind of figure out everything else. And then um, the washi that we're going to use is this one. I had pulled it out for Beetlejuice and then we had the striped perfuffle. But like, that's, it's perfect, right? It's the All Real Monsters. I don't even remember her name anymore, but she was striped. And I was like, this is perfect. So anyway, yeah, we're going to somehow make two identical mini kits work but hopefully we're not going to be able to tell when it's all over that they are two identical mini kits. Do we think we can do it? Probably not. I would do it anyway. For sure. Okay. Let's see. I also went out to the grocery store today. Um, it is, I don't know, like 1130. Um, cause I wanted to get stuff. I'm looking for a 0.03. Oh, 0.03. I'm sorry to write the dates in. So, yeah, I, I went out because I decided I needed to make beef jerky. Kevin is in fact going out of town tomorrow. And I was putting together a snackle box for him. And I was like, you know what? Beef jerky would be the vibe. And then my dad has been asking for beef jerky. And because he has heart problems and, you know, he's still in a care home, I pretty much any time he wants something, I bring it to him. But I brought him some that were, um, like, it's just store-bought beef jerky. So what I'm worried about is that there's a lot of salt in it. And with heart problems, you don't want to be, you know, hanging out with all of like the salty nitrates and stuff. Do I want it here? Do I want it here? I want it here, I guess. I didn't, I don't even have any like, man, I didn't bring out any headers. That would have been really perfect. I don't know we'll have to see so anyway I was like let me make a cleaner version of beef jerky and then I went to the store and then I found out they had um, pinwheels beef pinwheels they were a dollar off any of the pinwheels and then it got to stack with the five dollars off 20 so I got three packs of beef pinwheels from HEB for like 250 a pinwheel awesome super thrilled so yeah I don't know what the point of that was but yeah we have a uh, beef jerky is uh, going to be made soon. I'm very excited about it. So yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to do like a little bit of a cleaner, um, like try to get rid of plastics and stuff and um, like make our own laundry detergent because Gain smells amazing, right? But something's wrong with our water because it doesn't smell amazing in with our water. And I'm not sure why. I don't know what the deal is. I just had a really random thought of what, how we could do this. Okay, I think I'm just going to do it, and then we'll discuss why I did this later. Okay, so yeah, it just doesn't smell right. The gain doesn't smell right, so I was like, let me make my own laundry detergent. Plus, anything fun and crafty, I'm like, I'm down to do. It's totally something that I love to do. And I did that, but anyway, my kitchen now looks like, oh, that is, that wobbled too hard. This is Cricut Paper Co. I did not say that. Um, she uses removable vinyl. I think it's the same one that Sweet Cory Design now uses, but I don't think it's quite as removable as her original one was. Sweet Cory Design, not Cricut Paper Co. This is the only paper I've ever used. It's plenty removable. I just don't think it's quite as removable as the OG Sweet Cory Design. So. 
my thought was because the boxes are identical is if we flip-flopped the washi and the boxes so one page will have the boxes at the tippity top one page will have them at the bottom and maybe it won't be so glaringly obvious that they are straight up identical i don't know if it's gonna work but i'm here to try it and let's see let's see this week there are no plans there's new releases on sunday which is exciting i'm doing i believe i'm doing one brand new kit and one reformat i think is what i decided on yeah i think that's what i decided on which is fun so cutesy cutesy wrote that for me cute okay needs to go away and then um i don't know if there's gonna be a bunch of molly sheets there's gonna be some jumbo deco i don't know i don't really know what's the plan actually I do know I need to get out some November stuff. So I think one of my reformats is the fall bucket list kit. And I've already redone that one and it looks really cool. I like the new colors that I chose. It's still the same like bucket list items that the freebie had last year, but with a, a light revamp color wise and whatnot. Okay, how am I gonna do this one? You know what? I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna maybe wipe this out a little bit and see what I think and just uh, go about my business and maybe bump it up a little bit. There we go, love everything about it. Maybe not, but maybe if I white out this 2024, I can go a little higher. Oh, I went and saw Deadpool last night. And Kevin and I went after he got done with um, all his work stuff and it was hysterical, absolutely hysterical. Um, somehow managed to be offensive to everyone and no one at the same time, but yeah, I think he's really good at that. So it was very funny. And I think the writing was really well done for like the plot. Um, that's just that's just my take on it. I thought that was a neat plot. Cute. That is very yellow though. Like is that too yellow? It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let's use some of these little boxes because I want to do checklist. I think I'm just gonna do the checklist in the middle and then figure out. How to make it work i mean that could be fine all right cool let's see let's do uh let's just kind of do a box and see what happens i don't know oh yeah that's cute i guess somehow i feel like this is accidentally going to be uniform but only per page like oh that's too it seems like we're going to have to chop off a tail which i have no issues with goodbye it's crooked but that's fine we have tiny scissors for the rest of them so yeah we saw deadpool i enjoyed it i thought it was cool um it was as vulgar as you would expect deadpool movies to be so if you're into that i would recommend i thought it was funny so plus i packed like uh, snacks for us but i didn't want to buy water in the <laughs> guys i didn't want to buy water at the movie theater i was like no i have water at home so i filled up my sippy cup it doesn't have a lid by the way it's just there <laughs> i'm holding it in this oversized bag that like if you actually took a second oh i should have placed these down first you would have absolutely known that i had a bag full of snacks so i was carrying my um what is it? Are those Arctic cups? I think it's, I had. So the lid isn't like airtight and it's got a spout and everything. And I was like, no big deal. Nobody will know. Anyway, I'm walking into this and it spills on the inside and there's nothing I can do about it because I'm trying to be cool and walk into the movie theater with um, things I'm not probably supposed to have though. I think you can bring water in, but I didn't know that. So anyway, I'm just leaving a little trail of water kind of, um, it was coming down my pant leg. It was, uh, yeah, Kevin thought it was hysterical. So, but I packed him some grapes and I packed him some little baby carrots. And yeah, we were able to have a nice little snack. I brought, I brought like little beef jerky snack stick things for me. I definitely won that one. Okay, cute. Not my favorite thing I've ever done, but we're here. We're doing it. We're present. I feel like we could put some boxes down here. Just see what happens. Okay, cute. Definitely time for some green and orange though. Let's do an orange here. Oh, I went too low. So yeah, it was funny. Um, what else? 
Kevin goes out of town, but I said that. Beef jerky, I said that. Okay, yeah, that is all my news. I am on way too many coffees currently. This is my second coffee of the day. I woke up at five and I made Kevin and I a coffee each so he can drink coffee while he gets ready in the morning, which I think is nice. It feels nice. How do I want to do, okay, I don't know if I have any sidebar stuff in here because I was thinking I wanted to start keeping track of my steps on like a weekly checklist or um, like maybe a highlight or something. I don't really know, but I don't think I actually have, oh, I guess while we're here, we can pick a highlight sticker. Um, but I don't really think I have much. I really want like a bright green. Okay, that'll be the highlight sticker. Let's see. Okay, green. That's, that's green. That's a good green. I mean, it's not a bad green. Do I have something else? No. No. It just, it's so tiny. Look how tiny this is. Oh, it looks, okay, okay. This, this is a terrible idea. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> try and stop me I'm doing it I cannot believe it. <laughs> it's so little I also want to bring the washi all the way across so time to be wasteful oh no this is such a bad idea <laughs> it's so little uh, so there's about a 50-50 shot that I'll not actually write in this because it's so little but it matches so perfectly and I was saving them for a reason and maybe a plan with me to play with stickers is that reason. Oh, it's so little. Oh my gosh, it's so little. Oh, I wish I had a deco sticker to go with this. <laughs> what? Why is that so tiny? Perfect. I know that's Sweet Koi Design because she's amazing and she makes the cutest little, uh, I don't know, are they called micro kits or something? They're just like really small itty bitty size. They're really cute. And I guess that's probably where I got it from. Be it a purchase or like a D stash or something. I need a reading sticker. No. I like the yellow. But I feel like I'm leaning toward like a purple or something. Do I even have the purple? I'm out of a lot of, or not out, but I'm running low on a lot of the colors. Um, I don't feel like that purple is the vibe. Hmm. Maybe the orange? I like the orange, it's fine, I don't care. Okay, so that'll work. Okay, let's put it right above the world's tiniest tracker. Oh my gosh, that's just, just so little and so hysterical. I feel like I need a little something cutesy to go next to it. Do we lean into more Nickelodeon stuff, which I don't think I have a lot of Nickelodeon stickers, or do we just do like, colors that kind of look nice or do we do a molly or do we just do maybe like something from our childhood i have i mean i have a whataburger cup it's orange it's tiny though hmm. let's see i'm in my leftover book over here um unlike some of the more um, organized youtubers mine just kind of gets yeeted in as i find things i like I could do the McDonald's Nuggies. That'd be cute. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what I want to do. Maybe, hmm, something cutesy. Maybe we'll have to do something cutesy. Oh, we could do a Neopet. I mean, it's kind of fun and whimsical, much like the spreads. And I was watching Nickelodeon and playing Neopets at the same time. I could almost guarantee that. So anyway, I want to mark my steps. And uh, Illusion is going to help me do that. Well, that's cute. Okay, fine. I like that. Okay, now we have to do the checklist on this side. We still have to decapitate or, I guess, maybe take his little feet fees off. I don't love um, the flag bottoms. It's not that I don't think they're pretty. Because I think design-wise, they're absolutely stellar. Um, my problem with it is, blue here. my problem with it is, is I find that it gets too much, um, like bottom heavy with my checklist because I have that little bit of real estate. I've noticed that I tend to make like two lines on the very bottom. And then for me, I feel like that throws off the entire spread visually. That's just my thoughts and how I feel about it. So I have chopped them off and I always feel better about the chop once I have completed it. Okay, I'm 
little shaky because again, 400 and more coffee. Okay, super cute. I think I'm gonna put these boxes here, which is not where I put those, but I have more real estate and I can't put them at the bottom like I did with the others. So let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna do a blue and a pepe. Very cute. Purple. And I'm hoping this week we'll be able to get my dad's AC fixed. He needs a whole new system. I'm thinking like, I know it's going to be obscenely expensive, but I also know that it will be money well spent. Let's see. I need to cover up these lines. I feel like I want to try to bring in a little bit more of the yellow, but I need something around the same size. Oh, okay. So this is the same size as these which is good. So I could do this here, cute. And I could do this one here, cute. I mean, that yellow is very bright, but we have to do what we have to do. And then we'll do another yellow. Cute. Okay. Yeah, maybe not exactly the same size, but Oh, I want to turn this around. That way my, my little icon can be over there, not intruding upon anybody, actually. It's fine. We're going to have some color distribution problems, clearly. Maybe if I do this one, switches with this one, then that helps with the color distribution. This may have been a bad idea. I'm actually very excited to like open it up and see what I think, because... This is fun. I loved Nickelodeon as a kid. It was, I was definitely a Nickelodeon kid to be sure. So, let's see. I need another yellow. We're going to do the same sort of thing. So, I think we'll have to do, yes, we'll have to do green here. And then we'll do yellow here. here okay now we're gonna open this and we're gonna see if we can tell that it's the exact same kit i'm gonna cover you guys we're gonna go up i was gonna cover you up and then do the big reveal but i think we'll all be surprised together are you in frame we're gonna have to hope actually i don't think it's that bad with the fact that they're both like this i actually don't think it's that bad and it looks pretty cohesive overall which is not gonna lie, I wasn't 100% sure that was gonna be a thing. And then I don't hate the illusion down there. I really wish I had had some deco for this, but I got both of those. And I think I bought one because I missed the big kit. And then I got one in D stash, and I was like, oh, this will be enough to do a full spread. And it is. Look how fun this is. I feel like I should have grabbed my character uh, washi book where I like keep all my shop, all the different shops that have cutesy characters, you know, Sweet Bean Clans, Fox and Cactus sweet core design in my own and found something a little more whimsical would that have been weird to pull in the little mermaid though because that's like more of my childhood is the little mermaid even though she's disney but we have neopets we have nickelodeon i don't see why i couldn't pull in disney if i felt like it that would be really cute hmm i don't know maybe we'll see we'll see how this week starts to um fill out and if I have to get creative with some more washi, I might just do that. Oh, this coastal washi's got good colors for it. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll have to look into that and see what I think. Anyway, that's it. That's the entire plan with me, with no plans, because this thankfully is a very, very chill week. New releases on the first. There'll be hopefully a video, fingers crossed. Anyway, yeah. I like it. It's fun. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up. If you decide to come join the Indubity Secret Co. family, that'd be incredible. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.